Hi, Bobby. Good morning. This is our last day at home together. I know. Are you after some breakfast? Yeah? Do you want some breakfast? I'm gonna miss these wake up calls. You're not gonna have to deal with pesky ferrets in your new home, are you? Hey? No more pesky ferrets for you. Oh my god, you're so cute. We're having a lazy morning, aren't we? What are you saying? Fed me. We're we just having a lazy day. I've got to go and get my phone fixed later, so I'm going to have to leave it for a bit. But we can spend the rest of the day together. Because I forgot the reptile shop doesn't open on a Monday. Yeah. We're literally just watching animal content on YouTube together. She loves it. It's one of your favourite hobbies. You're very aware that there's a ferret down there, aren't you? What's that hand for? Hey? What's that little hand for? You hold it? Oh. I'm gonna miss holding your hand. I've never had a cat that has let me hold its hand before. Until you came to stay with me. Am I? Most cats don't like their hands being held. <laughs> We've already done a great deal today, have we? Hey? You've been doing your own thing. Thought we were going to spend a bit more time together, but clearly somebody had some other plans. We're having the laziest day. We're watching YouTube videos and drinking tea and chilling. It's a good day. I've just been on the phone to Charlotte from the RSPCA. I'm just sorting out some plans for this little bean. Get her fleas and her wormies done before she goes to her new home. And then working out some plans for my next foster animal. Do you not like my finger toes in your face? <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to pet you. I'm just trying to pet. I'm just petting you. Please come back. Look, it's gone. It's gone. Candy. Candy, the finger toes have gone. Why are you standing there like that? <laughs> like a little man? <laughs> Why are you being a little man? What is this? Why are you squatting? Like a 90s like denim advert. Just look at me over your shoulder. Candy! Get them beans. No, I didn't say meow at me. I said get them beans. I'm gonna miss these little socks. Oh, she's so pretty. Do you know what I'm not gonna miss? You peeing in my shower? I am. I'm really gonna look forward to you not peeing in my shower. You're so close to me. Oh yeah. Premium cat. Look at those little feet. What was all that about? How did you get behind there? Do you just want to breeze? You can sit there, it's fine. How did you even fit through there? How did you get behind the blinds? Did you go through here? Mystery. And then, 
But it's... I'll get you some fresh water as well. Are you going to come and give me a cuddle? sleep well being a loaf. I'm keeping out the way of them ferrets. Hey. Hi. Yeah. It's your spade today, isn't it? And you're going to come along for the ride. Keep her company, aren't you? Will you be good while I'm gone? Good girl. Come then, have some. There's my favourite leg, the ginger one. <laughs> okay, right. That's it. You just, you just sit in your little cubby. That's fine. I'll see you when I get home. Be good. Bye bye. Be good. Love you. Fine. Ignore me then. Just ignore me. Be good. I'm up super early this morning because I'm having issues with my skin. But this little one is keeping me company and being very sweet. Stay here today. I'm going to your new home. How do you feel about that? I have very mixed feelings. I'm really happy for you. And I'm really excited for you. But I'm also going to miss you like mad. Because you've been here for so long. And you're so needy. You're such a little clingy cat. It's going to be weird not having you here tonight. Okay. It's gonna be so weird. I'm not gonna have my snuggle buddy. I'm gonna come and visit you though. Your new mummy said I can come visit, so I'd like to do that. Are you shunning me because you're going? It's gonna be fine. You met Zoe. Zoe likes you. You like Zoe. You're really weird for her. I'm gonna miss you. My special little girl, aren't you? Hey? We're still besties. Oh, don't do me like this. Candy. Oh, babe. I do love you. Oh, be nice to me. Enjoy the last couple of hours we've got together. Come here. Come here. What was that? That was weird. Best, aren't you? Hey, you're the best. You're very special, and I love you. You've been such a good cat, and you're gonna make someone else very happy. And hopefully, they're gonna make you very happy too. Yeah.
let's go. Good girl. We did. I'm gonna miss those post poop zoomies. Have you settled down? Oh, I'm gonna miss you and your cuddles. I hope my next foster wants to sleep on the bed with me. Hey. Hi monkey! Hi! Something very exciting for you is going to happen. Yeah? You remember Zoe? Well, she's your new mum. And you're going home with her today. Yeah, I know, it's exciting, isn't it? Oh dear. So today I'm having some real mixed feelings. On one hand, I am super happy that Candy is going to be going to a loving home. On a more selfish note, I am going to miss this cat like crazy. It's really funny because when she first came to me, when people were like, oh, you're not going to be able to let her go, you're not going to be able to let her go. And I was like, no, she's way too high maintenance for me. She's way too clingy, way too noisy. And I'm going to miss that noisiness so much. I did get a little bit emotional at work earlier. Um, because Anime was asking me how I was feeling about the whole thing. And yeah, I did get a little bit emotional. I had a little cry. Um, but I guess that's just part of being a foster mum. It's knowing that it's okay to say goodbye sometimes. Um, oh my god, I didn't expect to be crying now. Yeah, she is going to leave a huge hole, but the difference that I've noticed in her since she's been staying with me since December has been incredible. Um, even from when she was staying in the, the vets with me, it was... Yeah, she's like a different cat. She is so much happier in a home, and it's been nice to be part of bringing her out of her shell and that kind of thing. She's going to somebody that I know, so I will get to see her, um, whether that's through Instagram or going and visiting. So hopefully this isn't going to be the last you see of Candy. And it's not going to be the last I will see of her as well. I know, you're going to miss me too. Hmm. I'm sorry that I called you annoying for a long time. You are annoying, but that's what I love about you. I bought your toy. I'm going to take this to your new home. Put catnip in it. And get baked. Mmm. I love this cat. But she is not going to be the last foster cat I have. I have another RSPCA foster lined up. And he is going to be joining me tomorrow. So I've got a bit of a one in, one out system. Or one out, one in system, should that be. Yeah. I feel like I'm going to cry if I keep talking about it. So, I don't know, we'll see if we can video, video a little bit more before she goes. When her new mum gets here. And, um, yeah. Candy's time with me is no more, but she is going to go on to make somebody else really happy. So, that's what I do it for. Are you enjoying that? <laughs> Be a good girl. Candy's gone. Like I said, uh, very mixed feelings about it. I know she's going to be really well looked after though. And once she's settled in, she'll be really happy in her new home. It feels so quiet without her here. It's kind of weird because I fostered other animals, but only 
kind of short term. I had a guinea pig come and stay with me while I still had candy and it was only here for a couple of weeks. So candy has basically been with me since just before Christmas. So she's been here for a really long time. Um, so she kind of has or had become part of the furniture. It feels really weird without her here anymore. But there are gonna be other cats that need somewhere to stay and there's gonna be a space for them here. I've got my new boy coming on Friday, which is tomorrow. Yeah, it's a new chapter. One chapter's closed and another one is opening up. Um, and it's, it's gonna be okay. It'll be weird and it'll be an adjustment, but I've done what I said that I was gonna do. And like, and this is the reality of being a foster mum to an animal, I guess.